welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and in this episode I will be talking in English as you may have already noticed. And um, yeah, my name is Gerald and I will show you a couple of games in this uh, episode again which will be Gimme 5, Coin Dozer and Racing Club. Yeah, and of course I have a few input devices to do so, so this is my mouse I will be using here. Um, then I will be using this foldable keyboard, which is this part, uh, as the keyboard input device. And in some situations, but not in this episode, um, I will be using the Xbox One as wireless controller, for instance, as a gamepad. Um, but in this case, I'm not using this, because there is no game that can be played with a mm, gamepad in this episode. Yeah, and of course, I have as the core of the whole uh, thing we are doing here, the Lumia 950XL with the Moha Mozo cover at the back, which is a Zebra wood cover if you are wondering. And um, of course this is a Continuum uh, enabled smartphone which can be uh, connected with an USB-C uh, cable at the bottom here to, for example, the display dock I have at this point here and the display dock is uh, again connected to this TV to show this desktop-like experience. It's not really a desktop, but it's a desktop-like experience and so we can play, for example, games with this, uh, with this. or we can, of course, uh, for example, do some work with Word or whatever we want to do here. Yeah, and if you want to know more about all that stuff, please have a look at the, uh, at the corner there. There is, uh, will be a uh, video you can click on to get a few other informations about the whole setup I'm doing here and what Continuum is and stuff like that. Yeah, and then I would say let's start with the first game. The first game is Gimme 5. And Gimme 5 is a game that can be uh, played alone or with your friends, I don't know. Uh, if you want to do that, it, uh, it's really up to you. And uh, what we are, we are seeing here is just some kind of a quiz, more or less. So you are asked for five answers, more or less. And uh, there are, are a selection of possible uh, things on the, on the left. And you have to click on them to, uh, to get the right answers for the questions with, which is given to you at the top. And of course, it's called Gimme 5 and because of that there are always 5 answers which are correct and there are I think 9 or 12, I'm not sure at the moment, we will see that in a, in a second, uh, answers you can choose from. And um, this is often about something like a group of, of things like, um, I don't know, what are cars or something like that and then yeah, there is for example a Ford Mustang and so on and so forth and you have to click on that. Um, it's quite fun if you like this kind of quiz uh, games and I really like it somehow, I don't know why. Um, especially since it's very hard for me as a non-native speaker to answer those, so please bear that in mind if I'm playing a lot of bad things here together, because um, it's really not about um, yeah, being intelligent or something, it's just I don't know the words for that in English because it's quite specialized sometimes. But let's have a look at that. So I'm just clicking somewhere in the middle. We can of course get rid of this bar at the bottom here. And as you can see, here are different uh, options to choose from. For example, you can have a look at the achievements, statistics, options and info. Let's have a look at the options here first. Um, you can of course, for example, enable or disable the music and the sound effects and stuff like that. You can enable or disable the vibration. I like to disable that because it's more or less just taking my, uh, my uh, battery power in general. And for example, the music and the sound effects will do. But whatever you want to do here. And here you can, for example, use different gaming styles, so the color more or less. I think I will leave it at the, the yellow one or the orange one, whatever that is. I think it's quite a nice one. Okay, so info, we can click on that. I think it's all about how to play this. So yeah, have a look at it if you want to. I don't need to no, have a look at that again. So I will go back. I think we have to use this to go back. Special, yeah. Okay, and now let's have a look at, for example, as uh, a kudos wall or something, or ah, do you know what? 
just let's start playing this. So go to play at this point and yeah, there's always this kind of a very wise uh, statement at the, uh, at the start of it. Click again and now it's going to start up. So you have a certain amount of time since it grow, for example, for example, hair can grow, fingernails can grow, of course, porcelain can't grow, grass can, of course, grow, um, plants and trees, for example. And this answer, you get some kind of a, of a um, park that circus acts are. For example, the clown, a human cannonball can be a, a, a circus artist or a circus act. Um, trapeze art guru, tightrope walker, why not? And maybe this one. So you get points for being right, and you see here is a live uh, counter. Letters. Okay, this one is quite easy. Um, if you do something wrong, you will be you will be uh, charged more or less with life. So so if you don't have any kind of, of lives anymore, then it's over. Okay, romance novelists. Jane Austen is one. I'm not very good at this kind of question. I have to admit. And as you can see, we lost one of our lives because I just got it wrong. And you can, for example, go with this and have some kind of a joker, more or less. Um, so, whatever, let's try this. And as you can see, this is more or less a timer with, uh, with uh, uh, credits or more or less points you can gain here. Fab 5 University of Michigan. So I'm <laughs> sorry, no. Can't really do that. Chris Labor. Okay. Oh god. I really don't know this one. Yeah. And now it's more or less over because it's probably wrong what I'm clicking here, yeah. But as you can see, this is quite a nice Chris game. Um, you can, for example, uh, get rid of the KP here, which is more or less your your um, points you already got. I don't want to do that, and yeah, that's more or less it. So I lost this. I got 70 um, points from that, and now I can, of course, play it again and again and again and try to become better with that. And um, yeah, why not? Let's play a second round here. It's really a fast one, as, as you can see, especially if you're not good at it. Jelly bean flavors. Yeah, we don't have jelly beans in Germany. At least not a lot. It's not very popular here. So what could it be? Kiwi probably. Why not cinnamon? Um, maybe coconut, I'm not sure. And now I have to... Yeah, I'm guessing now. But probably I got it right. Whatever. So, condiments. Um, Probably condiments mean something like sauces or so. I'm not sure what condiments really are. But let's say it is that. Or maybe something like flavors or so. I'm not sure. But at least it probably is not a continent. So that should be that. Punches, claw punch, probably don't know. Uppercut is a punch, that's clear. That's clear. Um, a hook, so that could be a clear one, yeah. Scratch is not really a punch, long fist, let's say that is one. Maybe pacemaker, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, don't know. Maybe haymaker or something, I don't know. But as you can see, it's a fun game to play, especially if you're an uh, uh, English native speaker, so you should be able to record this. And here you can see you have a couple of, um, of jokers more or less and then you just answer the quiz here. And, and it's all about always uh, uh, clicking on five right answers here to, uh, to um, solve the puzzle. And then you are just going on and trying to get all of these points you can get at all. Yeah. So this is the first game. I quite like I like that for for a quiz game. It's quite nicely done and uh, it's easy to play and fast paced, of course. And just try it out if you want to try it out. Yeah. So the second game I want to show you today is Coin Dozer, and 
I have to admit that Coin Dozer is one of these games I really don't get very well why you play them. Uh, what it is all about more or less. Because it's an, an endless game more or less and what you do is you put coins in there and then uh, he is pushing these coins to an edge and if it's going the right way that is intended in them to be uh, where they should be then they are falling down there and uh, by falling down there everything is okay and you get the coins back or something I guess. Um, if you if you have any kind of a better clue of this game please let me know because I am a little bit confused about the game. I, I don't know uh, how I would play this and where the, the real aim or goal of this game is. I'm not sure about it. It's somehow nicely done. It's it's light uh, 3D. Okay, mistyped here. There it is. Coin dozer, play free circus games and push. Whatever. If I click on that, I get into the game and there's this little piggy which is uh, which is driving this dozer around and he is just pushing uh, the dozer. On once at a time and always going on uh, over the edge of uh, of uh, wherever that is the coins are falling down as you can see here and then you get these these coins and um, it's really sweet it's really really nicely uh, looking uh, looking 3d graphics here i really like them and uh, it's somehow fun but i don't get the game at all sorry for that um so what i i really got from the game is that you, for example, if you are going to be away, you get coins for that and then you can uh, can push the coins to the to the start here to, uh, to um, push the other coins against them and so that they fall down there. Um, you have a certain amount of coins, you can see them at the top here, so every, I don't know, maybe every minute or something I get new coins for that. Can't, can't really say what uh, what it was, but something like that. And then you just have new coins you can use at the dozer here and, and push them down again. And that's the game. I'm not sure about it, what this is about. Okay, so let's just try it. And if you have any kind of clue for me, um, please let me know in the comment section below because I am a little bit confused about this game. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Okay, so tapping here will uh, throw in one of the coins. And as you can see, we have 13 of them now. And uh, of course, they are, they are rising this, this amount as long as I'm not playing or, or as long as I'm not tipping here. And if I'm doing that, let's do that now. I'm just putting in one of the coins. And as you can see, all these coins are thrown apart and there is some kind of physics involved. And I'm trying to get these coins to fall into this front part here. They should not fall into the water on the left or the right here. And this is more or less what this is about. So let's see if we can get something done here. Yeah. And as you can see, we, uh, we got some of the coins now which are, uh, which are thrown down here. And now we have these. So yeah, add it at this point and we can go on again. Okay, let's try this. If we can put them at the right point, you should have a look at where to put them. Otherwise they will fall, for example, down. And of course, um, you want to get all these parts here. So if there is a, a big hole or something there, you may not want to play this anymore. So let's click on this, for example. If we do this, we get this little, I don't know, this little part and can, for example, grab something to put in here and with that we get, right, we get some kind of a, of a power up on it. So as you can see, this little crane that came in there got one of the cool things out here. There were some coins which have certain abilities to do and like that we get more coins uh, which can be used again to try to get everything falling down there. We have 18 coins left, so let's see if we for example can push this one over the edge here. One more. Oh 
come on. Now let's roll them. And you can see at the moment there is a certain kind of, of a constellation here where everything is falling down. That's not what we want, of course. Let's see if we can go on and try it again. Maybe this time. Yeah, okay. So we are we are losing our coins here again and it's probably going to, uh, to be all right someday. I don't know. Because, of course, if we come back, we get more coins and can play this again. But, and for example, there, is, there are these little toys which are falling from the, uh, from the top there. I'm not sure for what. They are there somehow and it's looking nice, of course, but, but I'm not really sure what this is all about. So let's see what we can do here. Additional to this cranes thing, use this for example. Okay, this will help us, of course, to put everything here so that nothing is falling to the sides there. Nice little power up too. Of course that is only done for a certain amount of time and then this power up is gone again and you only get a few of them. I'm not sure if it really helps a lot because um, we only have a very certain amount of time for that. Of course we can, can click them very fast too, we don't have to to wait for one to fall down or something. But um, from what I have experienced till now, you really should have a look that you are not playing it that way. Okay, so let's try this one. Oh, this one is a good one. It's pushing a lot farther then, which is helping a lot there. And we can of course, for example, choose different scenes here, so we have at the moment this one and sooner or later we will, uh, will unlock this. So there are different uh, options to, uh, in which world we want to play here. With this bar icon and over here we have certain things like a collection where we can have a look at um, the things we already collected from this little toys. Probably we want to get the toys, I'm not sure. With a crane maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and after that you can see which ones you already got from your games you got here. And you of course want to get all the uh, toys here out there. And yeah, this is more or less the game. As you can see we now have to wait a little to get back into the game after we use that one uh, power up there. But this looks quite promising at the moment. Not even sure if we trade one of the coins for another one which is falling down now, probably. Whatever. Okay, so um, I think this is more or less what I can show you. We have a few other things here, like for example, closing. Uh, we can give our pick here, so quite nicely looking stuff here. And of course you can change, for example, if you want to yeah, give him a, a hat or whatever. Those are costing you some kind of, of uh, thing here, so... Go here, give him some trousers or some, uh, some... yeah, whatever. Why not? And so on and so forth. So you can really give your own little pick, your own little style you want it to look like. Um, of course you have to pay for that with these kind of crystals or something. And then we can have a look at this, at the uh, slot machine more or less, we can give in. Yeah, okay. Let's just spin it. And we get 30 coins again and can play a little bit longer. So it's all about getting these coins to play again, but for what reason? More or less for the reason to get all the, uh, the toys out probably, but I'm not really sure. If you have more information, please let me know in the comments below what you think about this game and, uh, and what this is all about. It's looking that nicely and, and uh, quite funny and, and looking really really nice with this sweet, uh, little 3D pick and stuff like that, uh, but I'm not really getting the hang of it. Okay, so 
again, if you have any kind of information or want to tell me something, please put it in the in the comments below. Probably you have a better idea on of this game than I have. Okay, so close this down and let's play the last game in this uh, episode here, which is called Racing Club. And Racing Club is a racing game um, for people who like, for example, Asphalt or something. That's sort of serious. This is really a nice one. The biggest problem I got with this game is that I'm not sure um, what the real name of this game is at the moment. I can play it if I'm using the, the Windows Store itself. Um, there I find it all the time uh, using a racing club, but since it's probably Chinese or something, I'm not uh, really getting the real name if I'm going to my, my app list, whatever. So let's play it from this part out. And um, the cool thing about this game is that it's really quite nicely done there. The, the graphics are quite good, not, not perfect probably, but quite good. And it's quite fun to play it. It's, it's going to be more or less street racing. So you are, you are at, the fir at first not at the fir first mission or something, or the first second, two missions or something. You are playing uh, without any kind of, of traffic on the streets or something, but in the later games, you are really playing a street race here with, uh, at different locations on the world and you of course have to win this and stuff like that. It's, it's quite simple to understand. Um, it's not quite simple to, uh, to control the game, if you ask me. Not really in the playing game part where you, uh, where you really drive the car around or something, but in the part where you have to click through the menus and get to where you want to. So please really have a look at what you are clicking on. So here are the the settings, I will sh uh, show you what's going on here. And there's of course this kind of atmosphere stuff, so this is more or less if your, your smartphone, for example, is not powerful enough, you should go in here and, for example, get rid of dynamic light or something like that. Um, in general, for me, it wasn't a problem till now. So, that's quite good. Here are controls, you can, uh, can for example, change uh, between tilt, so um, moving your smartphone around or rotating your smartphone to uh, control or tap, you should use tap at this moment, at this part, because otherwise, uh, since the smartphone is lying here, you may get some kind of an offset there, or a delta which is always getting you uh, into the way. So use tilt there, uh, not, not tilt, uh, sorry, to tip something, so not so tip it. And after that you can play it. I'm playing it with the uh, portal keyboard here. Um, this is really a pity. It would be quite, quite um, cool if you could play it, for example, with the Xbox One as wireless controller, but it's not possible to do that. So please lose, uh, use uh, um, the keyboard for that, of course. And after that, if you are ready here, go to tap to start. Click somewhere in the middle, not on one of the buttons there. Then it may take a little too long. After that, you go, uh, you get to this kind of part. I'm not sure what this is about, so I'm just leaving this again. And after that, you get, you get into another uh, menu. This is something, yeah. As I told you before, it's not easy to uh, to uh, more or less foresee how this interface is working, but it's like this, and you have to uh, to play it like this. What you will see is that there are, there are really some quite nice um, drawings here in there. So some kind of manga or, or something in that direction at least. And um, it's really nice graphics you are looking at here. As you can see we have a quite nice looking, uh, looking car here. You can of course for example go to the garage here and customize it with different options. For example upgrading it. Um, if you have the money for that, of course. So, so let's see what we can, for example, do for the nitro gain. Nitro gain is something you you um, can use to uh, get a short amount of time to be faster than before. You all, uh, all know that if you uh, play that kind of game more or less frequently. And um, now we can just upgrade that. You can see it's costing us some uh, some uh, parts here. For example, we need a nitro kit, we need tech core, and we need cash for that. And uh, it's going to be five minutes till that is done. So just let it work. Doesn't really matter. And it's upgrading at the moment. You can of course upgrade only one part at the mo at one time. So after that, just let's go back. 
Yeah, and there we are again. I made the mistake to upgrade something because if you're upgrading, you have to wait for the upgrade to finish. It's really quite annoying. So probably they want you to to do other stuff here, like upgrading in a different way, for example, maintaining it, stuff like that. But after you are ready with the upgrade, then you can click on this game uh, or on this button, and now you can play different games. For example, the carrier stuff, tour stuff, or whatever you have to, uh, have opened up here. Not everything is available for uh, at the start, but just try to get one of those you really like and. For me, I'm going to play. No, one back. I'm going to play the career first. Okay. They want us to raid them, of course, but I will not do that at the moment. And now let's have a look at what we can play here now. Okay, career. Go in there. Now you can see we have different uh, parts where we can play here. You see there are really a few of the parts, and these are more or less the levels you can play on. And now let's. Why not try this one? Or maybe. Uh, let's do the, uh, this part here. And if you are ready, go to start race to start the first game up here. You can just choose one of the maps there. Um, all are quite nicely done, I think. It's really not bad to play them. Now let's wait for it to load. And after that, as I mentioned before, I'm using the keyboard to, uh, to control this because the gamepad is not working at the moment. Maybe in the future, I'm not sure. The cool thing about this game is that there is some kind of a little... Yeah, a little story around this. So as you can see, we are always uh, around with our player here. It can be Richard and different other characters um, you can choose from the menu. And um, now, this is going to be the game itself. So, as you can see, we are driving our car here against the others and we want to, of course, let's try to get them over. There are different options here to play this. You will fight against other players and, as you can see, there is traffic on the street. And, of course, we want to be faster than others. There are this kind of uh, power-ups, of course, which is neat room more or less. You know that already from other games like this. And then you really ha just have to try to get the other guys and fight them. And be faster than them, than them on this map, more or less. I think I'm number one now, but as you can see, it's not that easy. He is going to... Bro, he is going to try to get me and uh, the traffic is not easy to overcome neither. So let's see if we can get at least through the, I don't know, first three or something. At the moment I'm at uh, the second place. I will not be able to get that guy there. But at least second place at this point. And there are certain, uh, certain aims you have to get there to get to the, to the last part here. As you can see, you can drift, you get different achievement parts here, so drifting for 50 minutes, uh, meter, for example, would have given me the third um, star here. And there are different other things you can do, for example, reach, uh, reach the top six, of course, so being at, uh, at, uh, uh, at, uh, at least five or six uh, um, place in this uh, run or race, of course. And then you can, for example, uh, get a star for overtaking three times. That means that you are not driving at the first time um, without overtaking someone. So, so being faster than him and trying to uh, overrule him again after, for example, crashing into some of the other, other lorries or something that are on the street here. Yeah. And this was the first run or the first, the first race to show you. We could play this on and on. Um, but I think I don't have to show you that anymore because there's a lot in uh, common in the different racing games and of course you just have to fight the others here and be the fastest there is. Yeah. And um, yeah, don't be confused too much with the menu. I am sometimes, I really have to, uh, to think about what I have to click on because the buttons are really not at the optimal position if you ask me in the menu itself. 
The game itself is very very nicely to be played and I really would recommend you to have a look at that if you are into uh, racing games, this one is a nice one. Okay, so what I will do here is I will just close this game now down and I would say this ends this episode more or less because um, we are yeah, we are through with the three games. I hope you had fun with this episode and uh, that there was one or two games or maybe three that uh, you may want to try out. So have a nice day. Thank you for watching. We will see us at uh, the next weekend probably because I'm uploading my videos more or less uh, each at the Saturday or Sunday. Depends a little on, on how much time I have at this, uh, at this part and how long the, the um, game is and stuff like that or the episode is and stuff like that. But in general on Sunday they are on, up and I hope you had fun with it. Um, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Um, of course uh, give a thumbs up if you like this game and um, or this episode. And of course if you are not subscribed till now please yeah, click on the subscribe button to be informed about new content I'm uploading to this channel, uh, which happens more or less each weekend. So let's see us in the next episode here. So thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye.